Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. You've finished your first few Oza Blockly lessons. Way to go. Now it's time to check your understanding of what you've learned so far. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated, a pencil, a blank piece of paper, and the Oza Blockly editor. Today we'll be using level two. In today's lesson, you will check your understanding of sequences, loops, and debugging by programming your bot along a route from school to home following directions in the form of a story. Let's review a few vocabulary words. A sequence is a set of instructions given in a certain order. In other words, it's an ordered set of instructions. A loop in computer science is a block that programs a sequence of instructions to repeat. You have explored forever loops and count controlled loops. Debugging is the process of finding and fixing the blocks or sequence of blocks that aren't running the program the way that you want. Let's get started. One morning, Ozabot woke up laughing. It had the craziest dream about getting home from school. Instead of just walking over four blocks and up four blocks, it had to do all kinds of nutty things, spinning and dancing with disco lights and announcing what grade it was in every time it looked both ways to cross the street. Can you help Ozabot recreate its crazy dream? Take out a pencil and a piece of paper. In the bottom left corner, write school or draw a small picture of a school. In the top right hand corner of the page, write home or draw a small picture of a house. Start recreating Ozobot's dream movements by opening Ozoblockly and clicking on level two. As Ozobot left school in its dream, it is excited to get home, so its top LED changed to its favorite color. What block would you use to set the color of Ozobot's top LED light? Drag the appropriate block from the light effects category to your workspace and adjust the color to your favorite color. Instead of traveling its usual route of four blocks straight from school, then turning left and going four blocks home, Ozobot traveled a different way, going four steps forward, then turning left, and going four steps forward and turning left. What four blocks would you use from the movement category to recreate the sequence? Drag the four blocks you would use to make Ozobot go forward, rotate, then forward, and rotate. Adjust the blocks so that each forward movement is four steps and the rotate blocks go in the correct direction. In Ozobot's dream, after traveling to this point, it would do some disco lights and perform a dancing spin. What block from the light effects category would you use to program Ozobot's lights to disco? Then, what block from the movement category would you add for a spin? Drag the block from the light effects category and the block from the movement category to your workspace and connect them to the blocks already in your sequence. Adjust the movement block to spin left. Ozobot giggled again as it thought about the funniest part of the dream. It would say what grade it was in and then look both ways before crossing the street. Which block would you use to make Ozobot say the grade it is in? Then, to have Ozobot look both ways before crossing the street, which blocks would you use to have Ozobot rotate left, rotate all the way right, then rotate back to the direction it was originally going. Drag the sounds block you would use and the movement blocks you would use to your workspace and connect them to the blocks already in your sequence. Adjust the sound block to say the grade that you are in. 
Adjust the movement block so that Ozobot will rotate left all the way back to the right, then back to its original direction as if it was looking both ways to cross the street. Can you accomplish that with only three blocks? Ozobot repeated the stair-stepping movement all the way home, so it needed to repeat the sequence four times to get home. Which block would you use to repeat the entire sequence a certain number of times? Drag the loops block to the workspace and connect it to the sequence you have created. Adjust the block so that the sequence repeats four times. It's time to run your program to see if Ozobot can make it all the way home. Be sure your bot is connected by looking at the Evo icon. If it is green, your bot is connected. If it is red, click on the Evo icon and pair your bot. Once your bot is connected, click Run Program and observe the movement of your bot. Did it go home? I think it's time to do some debugging because my bot didn't go home. It went back to school. Run the program again and look for the place in the sequence where your bot needs to turn a different direction to progress towards home. Can you find the block that needs to be changed? If you found the second rotate block with sending Ozobot back to school, you are correct. What direction should Ozobot turn to progress towards home? Adjust the second rotate block so that Ozobot will turn right. Run your program again to see if Ozobot makes it home. Nicely done. Let's make sure you have completed all of the steps in the skills check. Does your Ozobot shine your favorite color on the top LED? Does your sequence have your Ozobot travel in a stair-step pattern from school to home? Does your code include a loop block that repeats the sequence four times? Did you debug your code? If you're looking for more to do, you can create a sequence of code for your own crazy dream story. Or you can draw your neighborhood and code your bot to go from home to the store, library, school, or a friend's house. Come back again soon for our next lesson.